Fearless Time. What is going on everyone? And welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to talk about and rank the best classes to play in Lost Ark solo mode. What better time to talk about this than now with all the solo mode changes? I will be considering things like mobility, damage, survivability, and difficulty. If you are loving the tier list videos and want to see more, if you haven't already, click on that subscribe button and the like. That way, I know that these are entertaining for you all. Okay, without further ado, let's rank these classes. Okay, so first of all is Aeromancer. The solid class, Hitmaster, easy to play. You know, I can't think of a single thing that's necessarily bad about Aeromancer, especially Wind Fury. Um, Drizzle, I could see a little bit about, you know, like you not having the proper spec to do enough damage, maybe. Um, but both very solid classes. Now, oh, before we begin, gotta, gotta name these, right? Who cares about S? Let's say solo mode is too easy. And for orange, we'll just say uh, you breeze. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You breeze. But boss may get a few licks in. Okay, there's no B. B is more of a you drop a few milliliters of sweat. Okay, so I spell milliliters wrong. Oops. Okay, milliliters of sweat. C will just be the Okay. Tier. And then D is going to be global flood warning, sweat levels, danger, danger. All right. Now that we have everything named, Aeromancer, obvious solo mode is too easy, with Wind Fury being ahead. Like I said, very easy class, very good for beginners, and even with the boss aggroing on you, you're just not going to have enough problems, if I'm going to be honest. So, with that, we move on to the Arcanists. So, Emperor. I want to say solo mode is too easy, but, you know, this could be challenging for new players. So, I, again, I'm um, thinking about the class difficulties here. And Emperor is very hard to play. And especially with all the delayed skills, you know, you got to, you know... Let's just put her in you breeze, but boss may get a few licks in. How about that? Is that cool with everybody? Moving on. Empress is a different story. Now, I think Empress, you might need to drop a few liters of sweat. Because, you know, it is a hit master, but it's spec. You know, you're not going to get that fast of movement speeds um, that you would want. I know there's the buff. Um, what is it? 12% attack speed and movement speed that you get. Regardless... With the lack of paralysis immunity on some of your skills, I don't, I don't see uh, Empress as a good solo class. Okay, now we can go on to Artillerists. So Barrage, wonderful class, but I'm not going to say it's necessarily too easy because you do have to stay in one spot. I know you can adjust around, but I can think of many different cases where, you know, like a con where you should, probably shouldn't be gaining a lot of gauge. Uh, so I'm going to put it uh, higher up in here. Is it better than Emperor Arcana? Uh, I'm going to have to say no. Unfortunately, not. And here's why. I think Arcana is, you know, a swiftness class. So already off the bat, it beats out on Raj. But Emperor, while they don't have a lot of mobility skills... You can spam spacebar quite often. So whether that be, um, you know, getting up or, you know, spacebarring while you're up, you're going to have the chance to, you know, skirt around the boss's behind instead of, you know, staying in one place and hoping that, you know, you don't get gauged. Anyway, that's just my personal opinion. You could argue about, you know, <laughs> barrage artillery is going up here. Honestly, I can see cases for both of these. Just for me, I'm just going to put it here. Okay, sue me. Firepower Artillerist. I'm just going to say the same way, just here, right? It's just, you're going to get the job done, but you might get a few licks in, right? It's a very 
outdated class, very clunky. Um, but it is a very good class and you, it's very good at solo mode. So don't think that, you know, just because it's on the second line, that means, oh no, oh my god, it's doomed. We can't do solo mode ever. No, you can and you should. But that's let, let's let's just move on to artist. So full moon. Global flood warning, sweat levels, danger, danger, danger. Don't play this at all. Please, if you are an artist and you need to do solo raids, do it with a DPS build, which is recurrence. Now, even still, I'm going to have to just put this in eh, okay, right? Because it, it, it'll work. It'll definitely work. But is it going to be better than any of these? No, of course not. DPS will always outwin a support with a damage build. But you can still do it. Don't lose hope. Okay, Bard. Same thing goes here. Flood warning. Get that out of here. This one, though, also, eh, okay. The DPS build for Bard is pretty identical to the artist build. Just okay damage, right? I, there's plenty of cases where people have tried this, and it worked. So I'm not going to be like, no, never do this, right? If it works, it works, especially for characters that have um, a lot of supports, you're going to need to do this, right? So, oh well. Okay, moving on to Berserker. So, Berserker's Technique and Mayhem. So, I actually have a Mayhem character that I have done solo raids on. I even have videos posted about that. And I think that Mayhem is okay. It's okay, right? It's not too easy, though, I will say, because it's very, again, an outdated class. No kind of, or it's very clunky and red dust jail and all this stuff just all added up. It is easy, so you will breeze, but a boss will get some fuel exit. So I'll put it below firepower. Berserker's technique, I think, is also kind of in the same boat here, right? Because it's it's usually using the same skills, and especially with the um, Z that is absolutely mandatory and you have to stand still while casting it while the boss hippity hops out mm, i'm actually gonna put it below mayhem okay i hope we're doing good so far no complaints right hopefully not please i don't want a lot of dislikes so don't 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 uh don't you know be too mean in the comments but okay let's keep on going breaker asura Asura is definitely in the easy tier. The boss will constantly be aggro to you. You can just freely do damage. You have your own shield. You know, you have a bunch of tenacity. Like, of course it's going to be better than Aromancer. Of course. Burger King, on the other hand, Brawl King Storm. Eh, I mean, I, I, I believe... So I have never played BK... But I know that people have complained about it having not a lot of tenacity, especially on your gauge building skills. So if you miss it, uh oh, right? You're not going to be doing damage. But it is a hitmaster, so it's kind of difficult to to determine whether it should be in solo mode. It's too easy, or you'll breeze. I think I'll put it here, just just for now. Maybe we'll change things later. But for now, I'm just going to put it here just because of the difficulties with kind of dealing with all the paralysis immunity and, and whatnot okay deadeye so we have enhanced weapon and pistolier so off the bat off the bat pistolier is definitely good and i i think i think it deserves higher than aromancer but below asura enhanced weapon however you're gonna have to drop a, mi a few milliliters of sweat yeah I, I i think yeah definitely uh is it below Empress, I believe so, because Empress still gives you some movement speed, right? Your um, spiral edge. So they have a lot of movement that they could do. Enhanced weapon. Eh, no, it's, it's quite harder because it is a back attacker, and you're pretty much standing standing skill while your your guns are popping off back. So we'll put it right here. Okay. Deathblade. So normally Deathblade on all your tier lists would be up here, but mm, no. Actually, I would put it actually, you drop a few milliliters of sweat over here. And I will say though, I think it, it is better. So Surge is better than Remaining, uh, and they're both better than these two. 
just because you get the attack speed boost, you get um what is it? Spin cutter, right? For high mobility. So yes, you're gonna have limitations, but in the end, Deathblade is really strong and you're just gonna have to sweat a little bit. That's all. Okay, moving on. To destroyer. So there's Rage Hammer and Gravity Training, but I'm going to be honest with you. I think front attackers just win in general, right? They're just, they're just the best in solo mode. Especially think about your pro Kel days. Who goes in? You're going to want that Gravity Training Destroyer to go in because he's going to shield and tank everything, and he has push immunity, and he just goes bonk, 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 okay? Definitely, I'm going to put it up here. Um, but just because they're a little clunky and stuff, these two will definitely go here. Um, and I'll, I'll put gravity training ahead of rage hammer just cause you know, just taunt and bonk, 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 bonk. That's it. All right. Glavier. So this one is a very tough one. Actually, I had to think about this one, uh, swiftness and pinnacle. So I think for swiftness, it's just, it's a, uh, sorry. <laughs> I said swiftness. This is Control Glavier, which is a Swiftness class. I think because of Swiftness, they deserve to go in this section. Few Breeze, but Boss may get a few licks in. But are they better than Berserker? Yes, I think so. Just with mobility and like smoothness feeling, I definitely think better than Berserker. But is it better than Artillerist and all the other stuff here? I don't think so. I, I, I think it'll stay right here just because it's a back attack or two. So. Just because of that. Uh, Pinnacle is also kind of similar. Uh, I think it is better than Berserker. Uh, but worse than Control. So all my Control lovers from the last tier video. I got you guys. You guys are now on the second row. <laughs> Congratulations. Alright. Let's go to Gunlancer. So we got Blue and Red. Combat Readiness and Lone Knight. So again, like I said, front attackers I think win in solo mode. If you are a Giga Chad, you know, play those Gun Lancers, play those Destroyers. I love playing with them, um, even in normal raids. So we'll put these two here with Lone Knight being ahead of Gun Lancer, or Blue Gun Lancer. Okay. Gun Slingers. Okay, don't hate me, Gun Slingers. I, you guys think you guys are the worst champ. Uh, not champ, sorry, this is not League of Legends. You guys think you guys are the worst class in the universe every time I speak to you, Gun Slinger main. You are not, okay? Maybe just think about within. Maybe you're just not a good player. I'm sorry, right? But I will say you do have some limitations, right? You have animation locks and you have to cycle through guns. So like it is a kind of higher skill floor class. Um, so with that being said, I think that it is better than the head attackers. But I will say it is probably harder than Aeromancer. Because Aeromancer is just too easy, right? It's a very good beginner-friendly class. If you're a new player, Aeromancer is wonderful, especially when Fury. Um, so I will put Gunslinger here, just because of off of difficulty. Remember, this is not about damage. This is more about how easy it is for you in solo raids, okay? So I don't want to see any DPS comments anywhere, please. Same thing goes with Time to Hunt. I'm going to put it ahead of everything, but below Peacemaker. Everyone good so far? Hope so. All right, let's keep going going. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Paladin, Blessed Aura, and Executioner. Or is this ju a Judgment? Sorry. Executioner is a, an ability. Um, okay, obviously this one is a glob Global Flood Warning Sweat. That's really hard to say. Global Flood Warning Sweat Levels Danger Danger. Don't pick it. Never pick it. And also, actually, don't pick this, okay? Unless you're going to bring massive stimulants to your raids, I would not pick this, at least until tier 4, right? But by then, you're going to be having arc passive, and why would you do solo modes? So, that's besides the point. Don't do this, but I will rate Judgment higher because you can actually clear it, right? You'll do damage, but it'll just take an insanely long time. Insanely long. Okay. Reaper. Hunger and Lunar. So Hunger is very fast. It's a swiftness class. And they have a lot of mobility. 
but they do have to chase the butt. And that part, the chasing of the butt is the part where I, it's getting at me, right? Because I want to say it's easy. I really do. But I'm going to have to put it here. You breeze through the boss, but you, you, you will get a Felix, right? Because you're squishy and, you know, if you don't play well, even though it's, it's a relatively straightforward class, you know, you're not going to be doing a lot and you're not going to have a lot of fun. But it is very fast and mobile. So actually, I'm going to put it all the way at the top. It barely misses the solo mode is too easy route. Okay. Sorry, Reaper Mains. If you think differently, maybe if you think it's lower or higher, this is just my opinion. Just one guy's opinion. Uh, Lunar, however, I will say is pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. And I will say it's actually worse than Enhanced Weapon. So I'm going to put it right here. You are going to be jumping and, you know, dashing and all this stuff. And it's too much. It's too much. Even for a normal raid, it's too much. But for doing a solo while the boss is constantly aggro to you, it's too much. So I think it deserves this rightful spot here. Okay. Scouter. AT and Evo. So off the bat, Evo has to be, like, up here. Like, I'm sorry. Like... You're going to get built-in shield, and you're a transformation class, so you just you don't even require a lot of gems, right? Very new player-friendly, uh, but it's more of an alt. Keep that in mind. It shouldn't be more of a main. I mean, hey, if you play the class and you love it, you think, and, and you, you name yourself after an Iron Man reference, as most scouters do, go ahead and make it your main. Make sure you built it with, you know, everything, and you should be doing damage. Yeah, nothing else to say about that. But even for solo mode, very good alt class to have because uh, few gem requirements and overall very tanky and safe. AT Scouter is the complete opposite. AT Scouter is much harder to play because you actually have to control the drones and, and things like that. So I'm going to put this actually in Ubreeze, not in Humility of Sweat, just because it is a Hitmaster. But I'm going to put it here. Yeah. Is it better than Control Glavier? Maybe not. But right here. I think right here is a good spot. It, it, it's, it's very controversial, but I'm just going to put it here just off of the difficulty of the boss. And, you know, it's not really a fun class to play. Okay. Moving on to Scrapper. The Shock Scrapper off the bat. This is definitely a you drop a few milliliters of sweat. It is too slow of a class. Uh, and I actually think it's worse than Reaper. Because at least Reaper has mobility. But Scrapper, you're going to be wishing that, you know, you had other people to be in the front, basically. Uh, Taijutsu Scrapper, however, is swiftness. So you do have a little bit more flexibility. Now, not too easy. So you're definitely in the Breeze category. But now I'm trying to wonder where I should put it in the Breeze category um it is a back attacker so i don't want to pick anything here because it also is not very mobile like a reaper uh so you will have trouble chasing the back sometimes but you are very quick so you, you won't have that hard of a time uh so let's just put it here why don't we better than control but less than most of the hitmasters in this category i think that's fair shadow hunter Demonic Impulse, same thing with Scouter. Both transformation classes, one of the best classes to play solo mode in. I wouldn't recommend, uh, uh, not wouldn't, I would recommend basically any of the classes in the red, but more so any of the classes in the front, 100%. To any new player wondering, these classes are the ones you want to play. Um, you know, just determine which style you like to play. Perfect Suppression, I also think, so there is a Hitmaster build. I know there's an Entropy build, but I'm going to be more focusing on the Hitmaster build. So they are definitely an easy class too. You just literally spam all your abilities on cooldown. There's really no thinking regarding that. Um, so I'm going to rate it maybe around here. Higher than Aromancer, but a little less than Pistolier. Is that fair? It could, it could, it could move around like here, 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 like anywhere. I'm just going to put it here, okay? Are we all good so far? All right, cool. No, I almost said striker. Let's not even talk about striker, but we have to soon. Oh, God. Sharp shooter. Death strike and loyal companion. So off the bat, loyal companion, I would say, honestly, I would rank it like here. 
below the transformation classes, but higher than everything else. You summon a bird and it'll do like half your damage for you. You don't have to do anything. It'll do the damage for you. How much more easier can it get, right? Death Strike, different story though. I think it's, this is one of the worst classes I've ever seen. Uh, you need to drop a few milliliters of sweat. And I think it's not harder than Enhanced Weapon. Definitely not. I'm going to put it right here. So, um, yeah. It, be, just because you have to stand still and cast your snipe, and the boss can do literally anything, and it'll blow you away. Right? So, I'll just put it here. Moving on to Slayer, Predator, and Punisher. So, Predator is another swiftness back attack class. It even has mobility skill with uh, Bash, is it called? And it, there's two charges of it. So you're very mobile and you're very quick and your abilities are very fast. That being said, I wouldn't recommend that with all the Hitmasters because it is a back attacker. But it, it's still deserving and the solo mode is too easy. So I will put it right here, right after Gun Lancer. I think this is a good spot. Um, Punisher is a back attacker as well but it's the spec version so it's much slower and clunkier so this will definitely be um probably in this area but breeze but boss may get a few licks in just because you have built-in tenacity from z and your ca your skills are very fast to cast you have uh one cycle rotations too so you're not gonna have too much trouble to build meter like some of the other classes like sork and full moon that we're we're, we're just about to talk about so with punisher i feel like it's a little bit easier um to play so i'm going to put it maybe over is it better than taijutsu scrapper no it's a swiftness swiftness maybe here right here okay right around there okay let's talk about sork the so sork is disgustingly broken very high damage they got recent buffs yada 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 i rank them at s class in my last tier video i think they're strong but in solo mode, I don't think they're strong at all. Now, they can burst easily and maybe kill the boss in one hit. And, and, and then you can argue it's probably the number one class. But uh, for the most part, I think for a new player, Sork Igniter especially is not the class you should be playing. Uh, so I will have to put it maybe in... Um, you drop a few milliliters of sweat. I have to. Uh, and I will have to put it... Maybe here. I think it's better than Empress. Empress is more difficult than Sork, but Sork has a lot of limitations. Uh, again, this is not a damage tier list. If, if it was damage tier list, it would be up here, but it's not. So that's why it's here. Okay, everybody, let's calm down. Reflux Sork is actually really good. I would say this is a solo mode is too easy tier. Uh, but the the question is, where do I put it? Um, Aromancer, I think it will be better than Aromancer. Uh, it, it, it'll fall in law, a line with Pistolier and here. Like, I don't think it's better than Loyal Companion at all. Loyal Companion is just way too easy. Um, oh, and Reflux does have a blink too. I, I'm going to put it here. Just, just for the fact that it has a blink. You can use your blink comfortably, and that's a lot of mobility to have. So I think that's a good spot to put reflux in okay soul eater so i'm just gonna start with knight's edge first i personally think if you asked me what is your number one pick for solo mode raids it's knight's edge the class is way too easy for the amount of damage it does and you will have an easy time playing solo mode raids because of the attack speed, movement speed buffs that you get all around, and just very smooth feeling. Um, just overall great class for anyone who is new. Or anyone in general. Full Moon, however, I think is very strong. Uh, and I'm actually going to put him in the solo mode is too easy too. And the reason why is because, unlike the others that I've rated so far, this Soul Eater Full Moon has way too much push immunity. It is very strong. The tenacity on this class is very, very good. But it is very clunky to play, right? Alone, especially. And uh, yeah, I, I can't rate it higher than, you know, some of the easier classes. So 
So I'm just going to say the golden standard of Aeromancer is kind of like, you know, the average of the solo mode is too easy. So it's slightly better than average. Okay. Soul Fist. The Soul Fist is also a very tricky one. I think um, EO, EO is Swiftness class, but it requires a lot of domain knowledge um, and not a lot of, you know, tenacity skills. So I will put it after Gunslinger. So it's a little bit harder than Gunslinger. Um, actually, yeah, like, like this. Why is, why is it like, like this? I think that's pretty pretty good spot. And then for Robust, I'll put it maybe um, after Aeromancer. Just because I think this is just an uh, easier build. You have Tenacity built into your Energy Blast. And if you use your Spirit Bomb and it hits, you're basically going to phase the boss. So I think that's why it deserves care. Okay, Striker. Ugh. Not even get started with Striker. So this might be biased, right? But Striker is one of the worst classes I've ever played. Hands down. And, you know, your only mobility skills are your LTS, which is your main damage skill. So it's not, I wouldn't really call that a mobility skill. You can use it for mobility. I have used it before in the past for mobility or to dodge things. But for the most part, you're going to have to rely on Storm Dragon Kick. And... It's also that's also a meter gen skill for some of your skills. So I'm going to put this again. This is very very biased. So here and striker death blow all the way last. I do not even want to think about doing solo mode raids with striker. Never, N -n -n never, 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 never. Now can you argue maybe it's better than some of these other classes? Sure, like maybe, maybe, but. In my personal opinion, if you ask me to do striker solo mode solo mode raids, I will never ever say yes. That is horrible to think about. Okay, moving on. Summoner. So we're nearing the end here. So this is the communication overflow. So again, communication overflow is very easy. You just summon, summon animals and they you know do the job for you. Uh, so that goes in line with loyal companion. But I think loyal companion is a little bit easier because it's just one pet. Right? A bird that's just doing half your damage. Master Summoner is similar to Sork. Igniter. Not, not Sork Reflux. Sork Igniter. So, I'm going to put it here. A lesser version of Igniter Sork, but, you know, somewhere in this same tier. And finally, War Dancer. So, War Dancer, this is Esoteric and First Intent. We'll start with Esoteric. Esoteric, I think, is a solo mode. It's too easy. Hitmaster... And very good damage. You have your own attack speed buff. Um, and yeah, it's the only thing I can think about is very T-Rex arm skilly. Uh, but you shouldn't have to worry as the boss is constantly going to be near you. So, I'm not going to rate it too highly. But I think it is better than Aeromancer, but less than any of these. Just my opinion. And First Intent is actually a back attacker, if I believe correctly. It was actually the opposite a long time ago. But now First Intent is a back attacker, and that class looks very clunky to play. I'm going to be honest. It's strong. It's a very strong class, but it is very clunky to play. So I'm going to have to put it in this section because it is still a very quick class, um, Swiftness class, and I will put it uh, right above AT, but below Punisher Slayer. Just because, you know, it's, it's a very awkward class. But okay, so this is my tier list for the solo mode raids. You know, I, again, this is not a damage tier list. The damage tier list would look completely different, same as with my MVP class tier list. They are all different, right? Yes, for MVP, damage does count, but I consider other things. In this case, I'm considering ease of use, damage, and you know overall smoothness to play, all this, all this good stuff. But anyway, that is it for this video. These tier list videos are so fun to make, and I will definitely be doing more, so make sure to click on that subscribe button. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.